Hi guys and welcome to part 14 of Angular with Firebase application tutorials. On this part we are going to learn how to use the ng4 directive to show the users all the book titles. So before we continue further let us remove the logs that we have put on the previous part. Now to show the books to the users we are going to use both books and all books. So let's go to our books.component.html because we have configured that file as our template URL which means that we can show the data from our component to that view. So go to our books.component.html and in here we are going to use an ordered list to display the data. Inside the unordered list we are going to display a lot of data for each of the books which means that we are going to repeat the list item tag. So this means that we are going to put our ng4 directive inside this tag. Just write star ng4 is equal to let the book of books and then put in here async. This means that we are going to get the data asynchronously. We are going to use a string interpolation that we have learned on part 5 to display the data from our component to our view. So we know that to use the string interpolation in here we need to write two curly brackets. We write the name of the property that we want to show. So from the books that we get from our component we want to show one book. So just write in here book. Save the changes and go back to your view. So we see that we get the data but we get them as objects. Now to show the real data to the user we need to use a pipe. So for that go to your component and in here add a pipe which is the JSON pipe. And what the JSON pipe is going to do is that it's going to get a single book and we saw that a single book is shown as an object and over this object is going to apply the method json.stringify. Save the changes and go back to your view. All the books are shown on JSON format. And now let us show all the books using the all books variable in here. Go to your view and create another unordered list and inside the unordered list add a list item and write in here that we want to show all the books but instead using the books we are going to use the all books in this case. So let us not show all the book details to the user but just the book title and the book title is going to be book dot we know from the database that our books have a property title so for that on our component just write book dot title save the changes and go back to your view and here you are going to see all our six books like book title and the value so guys this is all for this part on the next part we are going to create our first service we are going to create a service because we want to have all the logic in one file. And instead of injecting the Angular Fire database in our modules to interact with the Firebase database, we are going to inject our service. 